I'm Kyle Tester, Orchard Manager at Wilson's Orchard and Farm, giving you an update on our nursery. If you may remember, in April we shot a video of us planting. Now here we are at the end of summer, beginning of fall. Um, these babies are about to shut down and just thought we'd uh, give an update on how things are going. So as you can see, uh, we've gotten a good amount of growth on a lot of these, three foot more, some. So these are at a stage we call whips, uh, kind of self-explanatory, just a uh, single stem growing straight up. Pretty pleased with a lot of the results. I'd say some varieties were 100%, some varieties is more like 60. It really depended on the quality of our scion. Some of the stuff we cut, we didn't have a lot of options, so we got like just thin little branches. And then some of the rootstock we got in, there's limited availability on some stuff, so some of the rootstock we got in was on the thinner side. And if you do remember that the most important part is to match up the uh, size of the scion, which is the fruiting uh, tree part, which we cut from our own orchard, um, with the size of the rootstock, which is what we brought in out of the west coast. So some of them we had to fudge a little bit just because of the availability of rootstock, availability of scion. So s some varieties have suffered, but overall I think we're very pleased with the results, especially since uh, um, not always able to give the attention that they need. So these babies, they're going to be going out into Wilson's next year. Um, we have a lot of stuff that's missing due to old age, to winter injury, to fire blight, to wet feet. We have some drainage problems in certain hills, so we're just trying to replenish the orchard with varieties that we have decided have worked out best for us. So um, next spring, we'll dig all these up. We'll cut them at about, oh, bottom of the pocket height on me. So um, what that will do is it's called knit booming. You just snip it right there. That'll produce a flush of side branches, which, uh, and that height is about where we want our bottom whirl of branches. Then we'll select a leader, get branching on the side, and feather these out. So um, like I said, these are called whips. If you get a second year tree, if you're in the market for a home planting, uh, if somebody's talking about a feathered tree, that's uh, something like this that has then started to branch. So right here is the graft union. That's where we splice the scion, which is what we want to fruit, the variety we want to fruit, to the root stock. So um, just a little reminder, apples have this awesome ability that uh, if you match up the bark, the outer layer, the, they will grow together. And the root stock, which is a completely different type of apple, will uh, doesn't know the difference between itself and the type of apple we want to grow. So in the winter, we made a special cut, taped them together, and they have since grown together. You can kind of see it here. Um, so then we had multiple branches coming out of this, um, this scion. This is what we cut in the winter. So we singled that out. We brushed off all but one to have this one grow for this year into this nice, impressive whip. I'm pretty pleased with how uh, this one turned out anyway. In here, obviously, Honeycrisp is a big seller for us. It's very popular. We have a bunch of Honeycrisp planted, both to rejuvenate some of our bigger old trees. We're gonna try to hang on to some of the bigger old trees, but also expand our trellis operation, which just is more efficient, more yield, easier to grow good fruit. But we also have uh, some new ones like Rosalie, um, Evercrisp, Ludacrisp that we're trying to expand our planting on, as well as trying to maintain some of the uh, older varieties that have been dying out heavy at Wilson's like Wealthy, um, Jersey Mac, um, stuff like that. So probably have, I think, 30 different varieties here that we're uh, hoping to either maintain out at Wilson's or start anew.